Back to school, of course, means buses are back on the road, but school districts like Buffalo are fighting a shortage of bus drivers. In Buffalo, parents could be offered money to drive their kids to school, but no decision has been made on that yet. Another plan would expand bus routes. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley telling us why some teachers might give this plan a failing grade. So we're very optimistic. We're very hopeful. Buffalo Public School Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams tells me the district is proposing a three-tier bus system to deal with a severe bus driver shortage. But this would change the two current city school start times of 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. to 7.30, 8.30 and 9.30 a.m. That means that there would be three pickups per bus instead of the two that we currently have. And the feeling is that that is what would help us with this bus driver shortage. But under the current contract with the Buffalo Teachers Federation, teachers are not to start work before 7.50 a.m. or end after 4.05 p.m. Teachers are furious. Oh, they're really angry. When I just sent it out to them last night, and, and the phone calls and the messages I've got are just Sure, anger. Buffalo Teachers Federation President Phil Ramore, who's been trying to hammer out a new teacher's contract for three years, says the district has not indicated what schools will be affected by start times. I don't see how parents and uh, teachers and staff can just quickly change their child care, you know, just like that, you know, I mean, it's hard. And the kids are going to get home late now, especially when there's snow or something like that. Won't get home maybe until 8 o'clock at night. It won't impact every teacher, and we don't anticipate that it would necessarily be, you know, something that's mandatory. We want to be understanding to teachers. But the president of Buffalo's District Parent Coordinating Council, Edward Spidell, says this would be the best option for families. Most schools are affected less than a half an hour either way. So that was the positive part. There, I think there were two or three schools that it was a little over an hour, but most schools were affected less than a half an hour either way. What would your message be to Phil Ramore on this issue as a parent? Please find a way to do what's best for students first. Ramore says he's planning to file a grievance against the district. Both Ramore and the school superintendent tell me they are willing to meet to continue negotiations, but no date has been set. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.